It's time for Faith Filter on Spirit 105.3 with Pastor Jesse, and I so appreciate you being here on such short notice. How's your Monday going so far? It's full. It's a full Monday, but we're ready for action. We're prayed up and diving into it. I'm so glad. I'll tell you, I'm sure you felt the same Saturday morning when you got the news that Israel was at war. It's heartbreaking what's happening and what has happened. Pastor Jesse, what does Israel mean to our Lord? Why is it so important to him? Israel plays such a prominent role in the Bible and today as well. You think of God choosing Israel, Israel being a nation to bless all nations, and then God's faithful covenant and promises to Israel, which he still keeps. He says he is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jesus was Jewish. That's not an accident. That was very specific. The Savior would be Jewish in David's line, one of his descendants in the tribe of Judah, born in Bethlehem. So we are very aware of how much God loves Israel, Jerusalem, the apple of his eye. God loves people of all nations, no question. Jew and Gentile, we're so grateful. We look at the history of our faith. It all centers around Israel and what God has done there in that holy land. And then also, as you look forward to the end times, you know, in the return of Christ, that's where it's going to happen. The fact that Israel exists as a nation points to God's faithfulness, that he keeps his promises, because how else could they survive so many attacks, the people trying to annihilate them, going back to the book of Esther and so many instances throughout history and scripture. There's a lot to cover when you think of Israel, but clearly this is a place like no other places, and God has blessed the Israelites in ways that are just very special and unique. Wow, and you just said something that really touches me deeply, that phrase that the Israelites, the Jewish people, those of us who love the Lord, we're the apple of his eye. What does that mean, Pastor Jesse? That's right. When you look at your own children and you love your children, there's a look in your eye that's just different. There's a connection there. And this is a covenant relationship. Chesed is the word, God's loyal love. And it means God's attention is there. His compassion is there. And know that no one else is second rate. So we are God's daughters, and we're God's sons, and we're in God's family. Not second rate if you're Gentile. God loves Jew and Gentile. And yet you don't want to diminish the relationship, the history, and that closeness and that connection with the Israelites. And God made some bold statements in the Bible, like, I'm going to bless those uh, who bless you. I'm going to curse those who curse you. I mean, God is committed. Now, the Israelites are not perfect. They make mistakes. They've drifted from God. They've gone into exile. I'm not endorsing everything they've said and done. Uh, In the land of Israel right now, there's a mixture of responses to God. Not everyone's walking closely with God. So none of this is to be naive or to try to make it sound better than it is. It's simply to acknowledge God, His plan, His purpose, His relationship with the nation Israel, and how that's related to our faith today here in America. And the connection there is Jesus is Jewish. We have a Jewish Messiah, and he's going to return as King of Kings, Lord of Lords, and it's going to be in the middle of chaos in the Middle of East. And as you get closer to Christ's return, things don't get calmer in the Middle East. And so when there's an uprising and there's war, we need to pray. We should be on our knees about what's happening. And the Bible says, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Amen. And to look up something Jesus said that really just hits my heart right, because our redemption draws nigh. That's right. And know the signs of the times. He says, you understand the weather, but you know the signs of the times. And in Matthew chapter 24, that's an important chapter about what's happening the closer we get to Christ's return. And there's wars, there's rumors of wars, and all of these are the beginning. Kind of like a a pregnant woman, you're going to see, you're going to notice visibly her stomach's growing. There's a little one in the womb, but then there's going to be contractions, like all of these getting closer to that deliverance. And ultimately, the Bible tells us there's going to be a new heaven and a new earth. There's a deliverer, Jesus Christ, not coming as a main, in a manger, but coming as the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. There's even a final battle, and it's good to know the book of Revelation. It's good know, to know what's yet to come, but you can know that Christ is in control, that he has the final say. The best place to be is close to Jesus. The story couldn't end any better. There's going to be some intense tribulations, but we can trust the Lord and stay close to him during those times. We don't need to fear. We have God's presence, his peace, and his promise. Pastor Jesse, appreciate you more than words can say. God bless you and have an awesome week. You too, Erica. Let's keep praying for Jerusalem and keep our eyes on Jesus.